23rd of December. How many sleeps to go? <laughs> two sleeps and two very excited little girls. It's Christmas Eve Eve. Tomorrow? Today. Mommy. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve Eve today. It's the day before Christmas Eve today. And it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. And um, yes, I have to work, walk to work today because I picked up a puncture on my way home last night and it's on my back wheel and I don't know how to change uh, an inner tube at the best of times and the last time I tried to do one, I actually ruined the inner tube. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> so I'll be walking until I can get it into a workshop, which as you can imagine, will be a bit tricky this time of year. So let's get on with my advent calendars. Yep. First I'm going to start with my chocolate. As always. As always. There is Catherine. Yep. Ah, oh, another salted caramel shell. Oh my goodness. Do you know what? Tomorrow I better have one of those chocolates we haven't had yet. Otherwise, I shall be writing to Aldi and saying, Oi, excuse me, I was looking forward to that one. Another salted caramel shell, and I have to be honest, not my favourite chocolate in the box. <laughs> it's like Quality Street. They're always full of the ones that you don't like, and very few are the ones that you do. So I shall get on and do my tea next. Get so on. here's my tea advent calendar. Oh, I just realised I haven't looked at what flavour is today. Let's do that first. Oh, lemon and ginger. I've got lemon and ginger again. Okay, you want to... Number 23? Yep. There it is. Lemon and ginger. I had the um, cinnamon chai... Um, infusion yesterday oh. and that was very very yummy so I look oh, forward to the next time uh, they're all all my tea bags are in a box oh. in the kitchen and I've been trying to oh. remember to take them to work with me <laughs> leave your sister alone Just I'm trying to I'm trying to talk about tea and you're tickling your sister <laughs> oh, I'll I... tickle you <laughs> <laughs> right okay are we going to get mummy's yarn then yep Okie dokie, so here's my Crochet Society Advent Calendar, day 23. It's a stocking. There's a picture of a stocking on the door. It's a new picture. And it is Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Soul sucking grey. More <laughs> like. Catherine's not a big fan of grey, I take it. Yeah, so this is Earl Grey. Um, yeah, so I'll be able to get on with this soon. I didn't get any work done on my... Oh, no, I did. I finished the head of my donkey yesterday. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get it finished before Christmas because I'm getting quite low on the yarn. Aren't I? Yeah! Yes, and I don't have any greys that close. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you putting that <laughs> tongue away? It. Yes, I don't have any greys that close to the colour that I'm running out of, so I might have to wait until after Christmas to get that yarn. So I shall continue working on it in the hope... Don't keep moving my hand. In the, vein, in the vain hope that I will stretch it to two ears, two arms and two legs and a tail. But that might not happen. Hello. Um, I've got some happy mail. I got my um, hand dyed box. And let me just pause this and give my lens a wipe because I'm a little bit fuzzy. That's better. So, every month, uh, for the last couple of months now, I have got a um, hand-dyed mini skein subscription. And this month, 
is my favourite so far. Um, the theme, according to the Dyer, and um, this is the Dyer. She is trying to not show my address. Dinah's Home of Crafts. I'll show, her, show you the card properly in a minute. And it's just themed on cakes. So here is the, just, just take a second to absorb the beauty that is this yarn. I just, and I love the stitch marker. That, that is the cutest stitch marker in the world. It's a little donut. And these colours don't have names. So this um, is based on just generally the colour of cakes and pastry. So she took her inspiration from some baking with her children. And then these two, I can't decide which of the two are my favourites. Um, these two are inspired by speckle um, the sprinkles that you see on cakes and donuts and things and just just uh, oh the beauty I think this one edges it for me but just because it's got a few extra colored speckles in it it's just so beautiful it's just stunning absolutely stunning yarn this month and what I really like, now I brought my other skeins down with me. I'm going to need a bigger bag for them. What I love is just the way that they sort of fade into each other. I've got lovely, lovely, lovely way of... I think these colours really work together. So that's... That's almost a shawl's worth there, if I'm knitting. And then this could even be thrown in there. And it wouldn't look too out of place, I don't think. I'm not the best for colours, but definitely these three are just... that they, they are meant to be together, aren't they? They are meant to be together. I'm not sure what they're going to become. But they definitely belong to each other and I've just spotted a certain little somebody sliding down the banister when she's been told not to oh dear why did I have children so yes this is all of my yarn now that I've had so far and I haven't yet been disappointed I did get my Crochet Society box 19 today and I was disappointed. I have to confess that I was disappointed. The yarn is the exact same yarn that I've been getting in my advent calendar. Sorry if that's a spoiler alert for anyone. Hi, me again. <laughs> yes, Emily's being all loud in the living room. I'm in the kitchen now so please ignore all the stuff in the background yes yeah, so i have to do a little bit of cleaning in here before i can start to decorate my christmas cake so i need to wipe my sides down first and then i've got marzipan to do and this year i've decided as um to try royal icing for as long as i i've been baking cakes at Christmas which has been about a decade now about 10 years I have been using marzipan and fondant icing and I'm getting a bit bored with fondant icing and I know traditionally it's royal icing that's used so I'm going to do that I haven't quite worked out what finish I'm going to go for though with that I don't know whether or not to try for a smoothish finish, some just sort of waffsy things, or I do have a piping set. I don't know whether or not to do some piping 
or just get as even a surface as I can and there's a lady on in the marketplace near the bank that I work um, who sells really nice artificial flowers so maybe I could get a nice poncettia is that how it's said poncetta I don't know <laughs> and put that on top um, or a bit of fake ivy um, holly or something but uh, yes yeah, so I'm just over my cutted oh, that's not where my cloths are Yes, it's been such a stressful day for me today and all I want to do is sit and crochet or sit and knit probably more knit than crochet I'm in more of a knit mood today I am really aware that grandma's donkey isn't finished and I need to get some more yarn that it's not going to be enough I've got the ears are quite large and as the ears go up to about 40 stitches per round towards the finish of the ear and I've only got about 15 20 grams worth of yarn left which isn't going to be enough oh i really need to declutter this is the problem my house isn't dirty it's just cluttered <laughs> which makes it look dirty um oh hello Catherine. do you want to come and say hello okay hello <laughs> she's come to get a snack yep some fruit Yes, because a full dinner of chicken pie and mashed potatoes and vegetables yeah. and um, a pudding of a couple of sweeties. Only is... one. Oh, you only had one. Okay. Isn't enough? You're a growing girl. Yep. Yeah. There's a growing stomach. <laughs> yeah. Are you going are you going to be good now? Are you going to say hello? Hello. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> This one's getting ready for bedtime, aren't you? Yeah. Well, nearly. Yeah. There's Dad. No, will you stop sticking that tongue out? You're not a dog panting for water. Well, no, Sofferty says you look like a lizard when you do that. No! Yes, Mummy's... No! No, be nice, be nice. Mummy's friend Sofferty said that lizards have their tongues out all the time, not little girls. I think it's true. What are you trying to do with that chocolate coin? So are you guys going to let me carry on cleaning in the kitchen so I can get this cake decorated? Yeah. Oh, she's getting a bit big for doing that. <laughs> yes, I don't know. I'll have to see. I mean, alternatively, I will have some marzipan left over from covering the cake. I know I'm supposed to let the marzipan dry. I just ran out of time at the weekend. I've just this 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 Christmas has just been endless stress and things to do. Not helped by the fact that um, I'm more settled in my job now, and um, it's. It's, it's really hard to explain. In my previous job, having three hours, uh, three days a week, a lot of my Christmas chores were done on my days off when the children were girls. Well, when Catherine was at school, when Emily was a baby, I could just pop her in her bouncy chair or do things when she was having a nap, and it didn't really matter because she was a baby and she didn't really notice what you were up to. And. Um, now I work Monday to Friday and some Saturdays, although um, for most of this year we've actually had Saturdays off due to the Covid situation. So it's been a bit of a, a strange Christmas this year because we've obviously got Covid and we had a full week lockdown in November, which is usually when we try and get our shopping jobs done which we didn't get done, obviously. 
and um, obviously not having a car over the last few days has really affected things because ordinarily I could just say to Simon on his lunch break just can you pop off to somewhere and get this that or the other so we're really limited and um, yeah it's such a stressful time of year and I've nearly finished Vlogmas I can't believe it it's going to be weird not filming every day I've really enjoyed doing it there have been days where all that you've seen is me opening my advent calendars and that's because I've been a bit busy or not really been in the mood for chatting to the camera but I think it's helped um me become a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera when I first started my podcast and I still do feel a little bit self-conscious because I always feel it's it's almost like an ego thing isn't it do I I don't want to be oh I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this my, my head's all over the place I had to go to a few shops after work to, to get a few bits and pieces because um we do christmas eve well this year we're doing christmas eve boxes for the girls it's usually something my sisters do and obviously because of covid um they haven't been able to do that for them this year and because they've got into the habit of having them we've had to do them instead um so we've had to, um I had to, a couple of bits to pick up for those. I'm doing a Christmas Eve box for Simon as well because obviously I've got my Knit Me Sane one, which I can't wait to open. <laughs> and um, the, obviously the girls are going to have theirs. So I, th I thought I, I've just got him a little something. I won't tell you what it is because he does um, watch this through and my I don't know what's happening with my camera it's doing all sorts of weird things so I'm going to stop wittering on now and get on with the job at hand and get this cake decorated if I remember I might film a little bit as I go along but I'll probably forget like I have done with all the vaguely interesting things I've been doing lately but um, keep your fingers crossed that I get at least an hour's worth of sitting down and chilling with some crochet or knitting that would be lovely wouldn't it and um, if I don't see you again the rest of the today I shall see you tomorrow Christmas Eve yay <laughs> good night